and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube watching this video later on for some Simic Ramp and Best of One. This is going to be our last deck here for the um, Win Every Card Challenge event that's happening this weekend, the 5th through the 7th on Arena. This is an event where you get to play any deck that you want. In, during the event, they allow you to use any cards that you want, um, including cards that are not in your account, so you don't have to worry about that. And you get one shot to play whatever deck that you want, and if you win 12 matches before you lose two matches, you get to, you get to do that. See if you win 12 before you lose two. If you do that, you win a copy of every single card on Arena, just added to your account. So that's really cool. That's just a free event that's happening this weekend, uh, celebrating Arena, um, leaving the beta phase and being a, I don't know, what's like the next phase? It's just like an actual game, I guess. It's not in beta anymore. I don't know the correct terminology there. But anyway, yesterday we played five decks that um, I thought would be good choices. Uh, you know, five aggressive decks that um, didn't matter what your opponent was playing. You know, you'd have a shot every single game because you are going to have to get really lucky to win at 12 out of 13. Um, but as we talked about yesterday, I wanted to make one more deck, one to put together, Gilded Goose and Oko, um, put a, a deck with those cards. And so I'm going with the Simic Ramp deck that we played last week on stream that, that looked really good on stream. Uh, we got it here for best of one. Um, and I, I honestly like thought about making changes. I thought about going instead of Risen Reef, Cavalier Thorns. Thought about going Wicked Wolf and uh, Feasting Troll King and going with the food synergies instead. But honestly, I think Risen Reef and Cavalier Thorns is more powerful. Uh, Wicked Wolf is still, you know, a good card. I mean, so is Voracious Hydra. Like, those cards are good. But I like uh, Mass Manipulation and Agent of Treacheries instead. I think that those that these steel effects are just more powerful up at the top ends so let's let's uh try this out here in best of one see how it goes uh we're gonna be playing seven games if you uh want some more besides this deck if you want some more ideas for these for other decks for you to play in this event because this event is best of one by the way check out all those videos from yesterday like i said we had five decks over there as well and also in the comments let me know what you've been playing best of one what you really like and what you are um going to be playing this weekend Okay, so let's go ahead and get some games going on. So we're going to go ahead and play it in ranked. And here we go. Yeah, Cavalier of Thorns is awesome. I feel like that's an, that's kind of an underrated card. A lot of people are just replacing it with Wicked Wolf. And, I don't know, Cavalier of Thorns is pretty great. Um, so there we go. How am I going to decide what deck... I'm gonna play this weekend, probably just what I'm, whatever I'm feeling, like whatever I feel like playing, kind of thing. Like, you know, we'll see see how I'm feeling this weekend, basically. Okay, so you never really played Gruel much before, but you tried out the deck from yesterday and it's super powerful. Awesome. That's what I like to hear, Andy. Glad you yeah, glad to hear that. Well, we got a good looking hand here. I don't think there is a best deck right now in standard. Um, wish we had goose on turn one. I mean, I, I so I could keep the goose and then we get to play breeding pool. And then I can go risen reef next and then, you know, leafkins after that. But I'm just going to look for more impactful things like Nissa. And so on. Uh, Lucky Clover. All right. So I can turn that into a 3 3 with Oko. But then that 3 3 gets to hit Oko. Like I don't have any like real protection for the for it. Um It's probably still what I want to do, though. The brambles of truth twirl and curl, choking out lies. Let's broaden your existence. 
Because Lucky Clover can just be worth a whole lot of cards. As somebody who's played quite a bit of adventure before. Yeah, Clover is really powerful. Why do you cross me? Oh dear. Alright, so we got our own 3 3 to be able to help protect Oko. I think that, yeah, I think that would be a good match. Um, the Simic Flash from yesterday versus this. I think they'd, they'd be pretty evenly matched. I'm glad we got rid of this Lucky Clover. We would have had to discard four cards. So, what is this thing anyway? So, this is seven mana, four, five. Hope they don't have another one of those things. Might be discard Cavalier and Krasis. What's up, Blue Gen? <laughs> What's going on here? Are we waiting on my opponent? But like the Risen Reef trigger happened, but the Risen Reef trigger hasn't left yet. Is this bugged? I'm going to alt F4. I don't know what's going on here. This this seems like a bug. That, that doesn't seem like waiting on the opponent. Because it already did the one trigger, but that trigger is not leaving. Because it's, it's not like my, my opponent can't really respond to any... Like, that Risen Reef trigger needs to get out of there. Your game just crashed? Wait, did my game just crash? I think I have an extra tile. I guess I won. I think my opponent may have conceded. Okay, well, good to know. Thanks. So there are some stability issues happening for everyone. I think I... Yeah, because I, I have an extra win here than what I had. We had, we had three at the beginning. What's up, Millennium God? Thank you so much. So my guess is... My guess is my opponent conceded and it just couldn't really process the concession and it just like the game froze because we we were really far ahead there like playing the Cavalier of Thorns they knew about the crisis in hand we had Oko in play I'm guessing they conceded there and it just didn't process so I'm counting that as a win because we were going to be winning that No, it doesn't grant you a win if the game crashes for both. As far as I know. At least. Magic Online never ever did that, so that's why I'm kind of saying that it doesn't do that. Because. Oh, let's see. This is kind of a five card hand. We don't need four mana creatures. I'm going to mulligan. All right, this looks better. Hmm. I 
yeah good good point there if you, if you got a win from a crash that would people would figure out how to abuse that I mean this is good a natural instinct is put down to the bottom because we don't have four mana or we don't have five mana. Yeah, there are they are can Connie, Canny. Definitely. Playing against Simic Ramp earlier and they had failed wishes is one or two of and they were able to grab mass manipulation this out of their deck for the win. win. No, I am not making this up as I go. Land? Yay! Mr. Shumway with a sub. Thank you so much for that support, Mr. Shumway. You are a rock star. Thank you very much there. Yes, yeah, so that's all, that's interesting. Yeah, could have Fae of Wishes and instead of the manipulation to be able to get manipulation from the sideboard. Um, I kind of want to just play the two Leaf Kin Druids. Because if, if I play Risen Reef, we get two triggers. If we don't hit a land, that's it. And then if they Wrath away my Risen Reefs, then these Leaf Kins would look pretty bad. So I think I just go with the Leaf Kins. And make sure they get two triggers off, the, off of them. This is really this really bothers me how the opponent is just um like how their their cards are lighting up so much. I I don't know how you like how like, like the flickering like that. How how is that not how can we not stop like is there any setting that I can use to stop that? I don't think there is, but there really should be if there's not. protect you yeah that that honestly is just a bother to the eyes like how is that like why is this a thing no just some people want to be at one some people just want to annoy their opponents and they'll just do that I just not have lands in my deck? <laughs> Certainly possible they're just trying to instant speed Kai's Wrath here. Good. Good. No more games. Well, 
We already have two Hydro Crisis. Don't really need another one. All right, it's good to know Zedalom at least. Hopefully, um, because yeah, yeah, users with epilepsy. I'm sure that's a a huge problem there. So hopefully Wizards does something about that. Anyway, hey Dr. K. Here we go. Okay, yeah, yeah, we're gonna try going gruel that proliferate with Grum Goli and see how it works. Man, we are man, we're real close to 10,000 YouTube subscribers. That is awesome. Yeah, I guess I guess Zedalom said that that there are some Reddit posts and forum submissions about it, you know, like like the Wizards forum submiss submissions about that. So they do not have Kaya's Wrath available. Should have seen that coming. There we go. Let's get these lands. May just discard Cavalier Thorns. No, that's what I want. Who's more foolish? The fool or the fool who moves? It's not poison. We don't really need to put more out there as far as a um, as far as against the Kaya's Wrath. Yeah, I saw that, Matthew. That that started to look that looks pretty good. They have four targets. Yeah, like I wouldn't mind I wouldn't mind the Cavalier of Thorn dying. So we do have to kill our opponent before we mill out. Which I guess that could be a problem. into my face and put on your true shape. Oh, 
Oh, I don't have Deckmaster up. Thanks, Factory. Thanks for reminding me. Not exactly right sure how they're the winning this one either, though. This might be a bad idea. Yeah, I guess this this can be the problem of Cavalier Thorns. Is milling out. I don't, I don't have a Jace. I like all the two mana removal spells more than Bone Crusher Giant. Um, Murderous Rider instead of Bedevil is certainly an option there. Basically, I don't think the the shock part of of Bone Crusher Giant isn't is too valuable. I'm talking about for the Grixis list. Rogvel with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much there. Rogvel, I really appreciate that. Our fourth sub of the day. Um, but yeah, Murderous Rider could, you know, you could definitely play that over Bedevil. I, I think it's pretty close. Wouldn't be casting like I don't expect to actually cast the murderous rider too often. Mm, you're too close minded. Goose. Down to the bottom. Alright, so manipulation is two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven cards away. Are they going to Wrath here. So that's 17 cards. Cavalier gets rid of another five. Our blue eye, the blue eye flyers deck actually performed pretty well yesterday. Yeah, real happy with it. Well, that really hurts. That definitely hurt. Let's 
So they're at 31 cards now. I'm at 17. Feel like you playing against your rank due to the fact that people can't see ranked. I don't I don't understand your question, Blade. I don't understand your question. Do you feel like you playing against your rank due to the fact? That people can't de rank to lower levels. The land fights for us. Well, do I feel like I'm playing against other platinum players right now? Um, yeah, I mean, I guess so. I don't think that. I mean, I. I don't think that platinum players are any different from gold players or any different from. Diamond players, all just kind of magic players. I don't know if I'm supposed to play another Cavalier. I don't think so. No, I don't. I don't think like. The the rankings always reset. Also, the rankings reset yesterday, and so you know went went from myth, mythic back down to platinum. So the people in platinum right now were probably people that were in mythic, unless they ranked up just yesterday. So these were probably just mythic players. Yeah, Ross nails it there too. Rank is just as much as a measure of how much you play as as much as how well you play. Yeah, if you if you play a lot, you'll rank up also. This person's giving me a headache, though. Uh, I yeah, I mean it's it's the new meta game is definitely fun because there isn't really a, a meta game too much yet. We're we're barely getting some some decks that you're starting to see a lot of people play like this this Esper deck. So it's we're not really we don't really have a meta game yet, but we're we're getting there. We're we're closing in on one. Yeah, new formats are always a lot of fun. The land will not forsake you. So I have three Nissas in my graveyard. That's the fourth Nissa right there. So I think it's worth playing the Cavalier because then that sets me up for drawing manipulation then Nissa for the next two draw steps. So they they're probably getting to Fairy to bounce their Wish Claw back to their hand. Probably just picking up a Teferi. It's just opponents that are huge jerks that do something like this. Anyway, what's up, Storm? Responsibility. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. I 
So my plan is to wait for the manipulation until they, they cast Dance. Not gonna just take the Teferi there. Hmm. It's like my opponent knew that I was drawing mass manipulation. It's like my opponent knew that. The flickering stuff bothered me. Does definitely feel like my opponent's been watching. But I can't stop that. So I guess thanks for watching, opponent. Thanks for... Yeah, there's... Yeah, you definitely have reach cards in a gruel deck. Absolutely. Kral Harpooner is a good one. Yeah, if, you, if you're playing a lot of decks with a bunch of flyers then play crowd harpooners for sure uh, you can take creatures and planeswalkers you cannot take lands with mass manipulation That was a, a game-winning thought erasure there. I hope I never, ever face that opponent ever again. So we're going to be one and one here. Cavalier Thorns did look pretty bad there. Hey, what's up, Cyrix? From just a an us milling out standpoint, um, you know, like that that really hurt me. How I was going to be milling out there with all my cards. All right, so good opener here with the Gilded Goose being able to cast turn two Risen Reef. Um, we're not going to have turn three Cavalier Thorns or Nissa, even if we hit a land with Risen Reef, because we won't have the Goose will only be able to add one mana. But I'm still using it here. So yeah. Same deck. I could see the, the two manipulations that I have in my deck. Um, I could see turning those into Fey of Wishes and then being able to have like the sideboard. It would it would help out in a matchup like this. Like where then you can just have like Ashiok and um Ashiok and uh, Amordigo and all sorts of stuff in your sideboard. I protect that which cannot protect itself. Rise, my elemental friend. All right, so activating the forest here because we just have a lot of forests. One, uh, but then two, this allows me to make another food token with the Gilded Goose. Draft Graft Digger's Cage does not help against Dance because it's like because it's like article or sorry artifacts and not creatures. I've got time. 
It is unfortunate. Yeah, it does. It does, Guru. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Hardly my worst defeat. Oh, yeah, thought distortion as well. And so does a Morty go for dance. Sovereign and free. Oh dear. I don't really need to play Leafkin Druid. I want to have the four blue sources in case of manipulation. I don't want it. That's why I'm not taking up on the blue sources. Yeah, rest in peace. That'd be a good sideboard card. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So this for eight again. <clears throat> so yes, you could do two extra if you um, Surely you must be famished. Nature's true power. If I would, um, you know, like you, know, you can untap the forest and like add another two, but I'd rather attack with the forest for three. And if you attack with it, you can't really add the mana and then untap it and add mana again because you have to go through the attack step. All right. Good job, Nissa. Last match, we never had Nissa. We played a very long and arduous game. This time we had Nissa, and it was a lot easier. What's up, whales? Good evening. <laughs> yeah, Rakdos control. You don't really expect Rakdos to be a control deck. Yes, yeah, so that one looks pretty interesting. That's a you know another donation deck there. All right, well I guess I should have mulligan my hand. I got too used to facing the aggro decks. Or sorry, sorry the control decks. So I kept sorry the control decks. Got too used to facing control. Yay! Tor brands out of here. No, Unward Ego did not rotate. Yeah, Unward Ego is still in the format. That was in Guilds of Ravnica.
The Rakdos deck has a lot of creatures in it. It's like a creature control deck. Favorite bands? Top three, top five. Um, right now, um, I basically, you know, like I have like the stream playlist that we listen to here. Besides that, if I'm listening to music, I'm probably listening to. We'll just block here. Probably listening to like a more melodic. EDM type stuff. Uh, like I really like uh, Elenium, like both of Elenium's first two albums. Listen to a bunch of those, and I'd be like flying a bunch. Listen to those. Um, but anyway, earlier on in my life, um, I have to say that like like Thirty Seconds to Mars for a while was my favorite band. I liked Smashing Pumpkins. Smashing Pumpkins is way back in the day, but that was a favorite before. We will not fail. The land shall conquer you. Um So those are the ones that kind of came to mind. It's a lot of little damage adding up there. Hi, Droid Crisis. You're a welcome sight. For sore eyes here. If I cast Krasis, uh, it's going to be kind of tough to cast Krasis, honestly. I hope no cavalcade. But I can I'm gonna have like the goose can make a the goose can make a food to, food token. So we have like the four mana, we can make a food and sack the food. They have to worry about me attacking back for lethal. If they just attack out. I have nine coming back at him with another Nissa land and then the two Risen Reefs. They can't quite attack out, you would think. All right, there we go. Pass to blockers. Wait, that can block. That can be blocked by creatures with haste. I just realized that. Poor red decks. It's too much food around these days. Suffer and get sooner. Two, four, five, six. My elemental friend. 
No. All right, I still got the six mana available to make more food and eat more food if need be. <laughs> All right. There's a lot of good cards here in the Simic deck and um, you know, a whole bunch of the four drops there, but no cavalcade to really get through for a lot of damage. I I think playing the crate. I like playing the crates more than playing two Nissas. Like having the the crisis in the air. The next turn. Yeah, these food tokens are are really rough for for mono red for sure. We played mono red cavalcade. You know, we played like that deck yesterday. And yeah, the Simic decks here, like these Oko decks, they were making food tokens. It was really rough because not only does Oko have like just millions of loyalty when you play it up at uh, turn three, it's just too hard to kill with how much loyalty it has. But then how it makes the food tokens that get to gain three life. It, this is really difficult for red to compete with them. A Boreal Grazer does work very well with, um, with Oko. And I think if you want to move away from Risen Reef with the deck, having a Boreal Grazer instead of Having <clears throat> Boreal Grazer instead of Leafkin Druid is the way to go. What's up, Zoltan? Well, this is a best of one event, so there's no sideboard there. No key. But yeah, I could see maybe Tybalt is supposed to be a main deck card for those decks. All right, so we're going to have to turn Golos into a 3-3 three, three with Oko. I think I can wait a turn to do that. Maybe we can play Nyssa first. Yep, this is a practice for the event that's this weekend. We played five decks yesterday, and this is one more that we wanted to put together that said that yesterday we'd, we would uh, play one more. So we're going to be playing seven games. We're three and one right now. Our deck looks pretty good. Um, I could see it struggling here with this match. Well, this will be an interesting one to, to try out here. Power surges through these lands. The land shall come for you. I know it's a yeah a, changing things into three threes is a plus ability it's pretty crazy wow not attacking nissa
think there's a good chance that they time wipe here. Of course, they you know they had to have a time wipe, but it's a good chance that this gets time wiped. But still, Leafkin's drawing a card with the Risen Reef. Like if the Risen Reef was in play, I'm sorry, if the Risen Reef was not here, I'd be playing Once Upon a Time. But the Risen Reef's there. I'll play the I'll cycle the Leafkin basically, even with the time wipe. And if they if they don't have time wipe, then it can be better than a cycle. My camera and my voice are desynced. Um, I don't. So they're slightly desynced. I don't know. Um, is that is that better? I just changed a, a setting slightly. Hopefully that looks a little better. Ultimating Nissa would be really nice. Uh, that's that's really our goal here. Make our lands indestructible so that they can continually attack through a bunch of zombies. Did they scry and then fetch? Is that what I was kind of paying attention over here to the sinking thing? Is that did that just happen? Uh, never like seeing another field of the dead, of course. All right, I'll try one more thing. All right, let me know how that is now. So they scryed and then fetched. Weird. So uh, the four, then so one, two, three, four. I can untap five. I can steal five things if I want to. That's eight. So that's ten. So that's four things. The land fights for us. Let's take them all. Give me all those. <laughs> at least, yeah, at least Time Wipe won't be able to save Golos now. So that's cool. It would still be very bad for me. At least won't save Golos. All right, scry to the bottom. I like seeing that. But at least time wipe, we should be able to like ultimate Nissa, then play a new Nissa. Sorry, I'm late. Boo. Trust me, I have All right, not bouncing their Golos. It's a good sign for me. And triple field of the dead. Okay. Yeah, ultimating Nissa is kind of game there. So my plan was to, you know, I just add the four mana before Nissa's gone, ultimate the Nissa, go get all the forests out of my deck, and then play new Nissa. So we can have, uh, so we can tick up and make another indestructible attacker. All right, we're four and one. Yeah, well, I guess they just bounce Krasis because they're at nine, and that's an and Krasis is an eight eight. Um, 
but they kind of need to just draw a time wipe anyway, so like maybe they should just bounce the Golos and give them a better chance if they do top deck time wipe because they're going to be kind of dead either way. <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah, I left the Grazer without any friends. True. All right, so we can have turn three Nissa. with double goose but then the geese won't be adding any mana afterwards for cavalier or crisis uh, the grazer has reach we don't get to get in with our o2 All right, hoping no time wipe. That make this goose process pretty slow. A lot of clicks. Witness the ties that bind us all. Harness the elements. But we'll we'll play Cavalier next turn. So if there is a time wipe, we get to pick something back up. Gonna grab the island. Wait, I already played a land this turn. Yes, I already played a land this turn. Rise, my elemental friend. Do have the ability to activate Golos with, you know, they were going to no matter what land they had. All right, double grazer. So we're still one land, or one one turn away. Sorry, we're one turn away from activating Nissa, or from ultimating. That was a confusing statement. I'm sorry. Yeah, Stream Decker is having problems right now. Um, which has happened. This has happened before whenever we've had new sets. I think there's just a lot of people on Stream Decker and their websites just having problems because of it. So, two, four, six, eight, ten. 12, just draw six cards. Or no, because that'll, that'll be draw. That'll be draw five. Load back up. All right, now we hopefully ultimate Nissa. <laughs> there's there's no way to get there's no way to change your opponents in matchmaking. Cavalier of Thorns over there. 
All right, so no ramp spell. Or so, sorry, no, um, no wrath. And no way to deal with a Nyssa. So we should be able to ultimate Nyssa here. I don't have a backup Nyssa as of now. We can make some indestructible three threes. Okay. So we can do, that's four blues, and then the six, that's three. I kind of only need two. Give me these. Life cannot be denied. So making this attack so that if Cavalier dies, we can put Nissa back on top. So this looks pretty good for us. Yeah, so yeah, we got the emblem, so these things are indestructible. So we get to just serve them in um, and not have to worry about it. Don't have too much protection for um, for Oko if we play Oko. I mean, they they have to just go wider than me, basically. Ooh, they have Gates Ablaze. I mean, it's just like any other sweeper, I suppose. But yeah, Gates Ablaze, and we have indestructible things here. Okay. Yeah, how many lands? You, yeah, you can choose any number. Like it doesn't. There's no. There's no limit to how many lands you can get out of your deck with Nissa. There's no limit. But yeah, they, they have to be forests. As long as they're taking forests, you can grab however many of them you want. Um, I 
Six, seven, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. you to change your ways. Just we might as well attack with the five sixes. They're only going to, like, they're only going to block one creature also. So, like, if they're going to just only block a creature, might as well attack with them. Same kind of thing there. Yep. Search your life for any number of forest cards. So, why'd they chump block with a 3-3 instead of chump blocking with a 2-2? Does that make any sense? I don't really see how that makes any sense. Hey, Logo. I have not tried Jund Adventure. But yeah, that's that's awesome. Good job. Okay, I guess they have a finale of devastation in their deck. Do these things have trample. Plus X plus X and gain haste. But still it's ten of them. I have nine blockers. That thing has trample. This thing has trample. Huh. All right, well, I guess they have that. That's cool. Why don't I have that card? <clears throat> yeah. I thought we were going to win that. I really did. I thought we were winning that one. But yeah. Finale of Devastation. Aptly named Finale of Devastation. No, there was not Beso. No, I did not miss Lethal at any point. We... Um, with all the 2-2s two there, I, I couldn't push through that damage there. I did a good job attacking, honestly. Like I, I pressured as much as I could. I I left myself kind of vulnerable. Um, the the previous turn before that one, when I tapped like my lands, second main anyway. So once upon a time here on turn two, let's see if we can find a Leafkin Druid or a Goose. All right. Well, we already have a Leafkin Druid anyway, so let's do this first though. While it's free. <laughs> no, Finale Devastation is not that good in this deck, but maybe it would have helped me out against our other loss, like the Dance with the Man's deck. Okay, well, good game. Ah, game's not over. May we top deck a land. 
and get to Cavalier. No, there's nope. There's nothing against Field of the Dead in this set, which I was really shocked by. Honestly, I thought for sure there there was going to be something, um, some kind of anti Field of the Dead card, but there's nothing. Yeah, that was really surprising. Correct. Yeah, Field of Ruin rotated. Field of Ruin, Alpine Moon, Blood Sun. Those all rotated. So assuming they have another Black Lance Paragon here. <laughs> Thanks, Box of Rocks. Thank you so much. I'm having a good day. I appreciate that. Thank you. Nice little scoops. No, Hushbringer doesn't interact. Hushbringer only um, says creatures. It doesn't say anything about lands. Like, it stops Golos and Cavalier Thorns from getting a new land kind of thing. It's true. Agent Treachery could take the Field of the Dead. Do I even need to do this? I'm going to take three and do that block the next turn. It's not like that block's not going to be there next turn. But I'm basically paying three life to draw a card. Maybe I shouldn't be paying three life to draw a card. Maybe that's... Maybe that's greedy. These geese need to honk better. They don't honk very well. Yeah, the the list are the link right above you there, Sig. Um, that ramen noodles put out there. That that link gets to the decks as long as Stream Decker works. But that's where the the Grixis fires list is up there. This is our last game here. Game number seven here with Simic Ramp. This is our last game, and then we'll be getting to Simic Fires after this one. I will protect the virtue of this world. I probably should just Cavalier to Thorns again, honestly. The land fights for us. Yep, that's kind of our plan is just try to keep getting mana out there and then with having mana be able to make more foods and, and gain life with the food so we don't get smitten by any sword masters. Four, six, seven. All right, yeah, big crisis time. Okay, glad to hear that, Wanderer. Yeah, I think Orzov has a lot of good stuff in it. So 
that's five. An additional five. I, ha I could handle one pretty easily. The fact that I had a second one was really annoying. I wish I didn't grab the, the breeding pool. I wish I would have grabbed this forest right now. Get to draw four. But even though they draw four, they're kind of out of gas. Or, well, they're not out of gas as far as cards in hand. They're out of gas as far as board state is concerned, though. But they got rid of a, a goose. Bell haunts, Kai's rats, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it sounds good. Corpse Knight. Two, four, six, seven, eight to gain three. So we still have the mana to make a food and sack two foods. So we can go up to 11 here. I think we got this one. So that thing has death touch. Their fourth one of those. Okay. Man, Gilded Goose really won me that game. Just making, you know, the, the two geese, just making foods. Uh, you know, the extra mana with Nyssa gained so much life that the two smitten sword masters didn't matter. If they just didn't make that attack, like, they made that attack that killed four things. If they don't make that attack, then they would have, well, they probably just didn't have all those cards, though. You know, they did draw four cards from that. But if they don't make that attack, um, then, you know, like, they did find that their fourth sword master, maybe they could have kept on going wide, but, yeah, that... That was a pretty rough spot for our opponent there. Okay, so that's Simic Ramps. We went 5-2 also. So the last four decks that we played in this format, we went 5-2 with each one. So these all look pretty strong. Uh, this one in particular uh, feels really strong. Um, you know, like we lost to a, a, a random finale of Devastation one game. And then our other loss um, 
to Esper Doom, where we, we won the next time against Esper Doom, where Nissa was like really important in, in the win, but we we drew through th- we drew through almost all of our deck, and we didn't have a Nissa. Uh, had way too many Cavalier Thorns and stuff though. Um, but yeah, Gilded Goose is really good. Oko really good. This deck's pretty strong. I could see we talked about this before. I could see instead of playing Agent of Treachery and Mass Manipulation, instead of playing those three, like I think the base of the deck's really good. But maybe if you know this is this is just another option. You could maybe go with Fey of Wishes, and then and you know once upon a time can find Fey of Wishes also. And so you could have like three Fey of Wishes, um, and then you can have a and so like when you do get to like the the games like where you have lots of mana and everything. Like we had plenty of games where we had lots of mana. Maybe you have like a, a really impactful sideboard um, of expensive spells. I don't know exactly what that looks like, but you know you can have stuff like you could have stuff like Ashiok. Um, I kind of like that honestly for best of one. Like best of one, like that that's honestly really powerful. I kind of like that. Honestly, it's still a one four to protect against aggro. I actually think this is a good plan to go this route. Because having a sideboard in best of one is really, really powerful. Um, you know, you can have, like, Ashiok against the Esper Doom deck. You know, maybe even you want you want two, two Ashioks. Um, maybe you want to have, like, Negate. I don't know if you'll want, like, two Negates. But, yeah, maybe you want Negate. Yeah, you could have, like, a Veil of Summer. Um... We already have the mass manipulations over there. Maybe also against like the the deck with like the field of the dead. If they have like a whole bunch of zombies, you know, like maybe you can go grab like a flood of tears to like bounce a whole bunch of zombies. Um, you can go grab your own finales, like have one of each finale over here. Like if if you're playing like that Esper match, like if you're gonna mill out, you can go grab finale finale for ten. Shuffle your graveyard back into your library. Um, you you can't get creatures, so like creatures don't don't really work. But yeah, have like an unmoored ego. Um, so what else? It has to be a non-creature spell. You could have like a spyglass if you need a spyglass or something. Like maybe you want a spy glass for a Teferi or a Golos kind of thing. We're probably getting like rares and mythics, probably. You can have a Jace if you're gonna mill out. Just go grab Jace. Could quasi duplicate. Rampage the Clans? I don't think we'd want to play Rampage the Clans against Dance with the Mans. Maybe you need a Return of the Wild Speaker to kill somebody. Ooh, definitely played White Celebration. Definitely that. Maybe a Great Henge. No, we can't get can't get uh, creatures. Voracious Hider doesn't work. Yeah, I, I put in a finale. Um, Graph Diggers doesn't work. Do you, would you want to play like an emergency powers? Is there is there a reason to play emergency powers against somebody that you wouldn't want just like finale or something? Heck yeah, get a, a num- mnemonic betrayal in there. Wow. You just start casting your opponents like artifacts and stuff? Ooh. I 
Yeah, I could have like a time wipe also if need be. A Narset. Would you ever want to just go grab find for find finality? And then you also have like the find. Maybe you want just find finality instead of time wipe. Yeah, finality is easier to cast. Then you also have the find part. Only makes one creature indestructible. Tamio. Yeah, I actually like this idea a lot of having Fey of Wishes. I'm not sure if you need that. Probably just need the one Ashiok. I'm not sure if you need the Veil of Summer. Yeah, we have we have Paradise Druid and Gilded Goose to to cast off color stuff. So we have we have the four Gilded Goose and the Paradise Druid that can cast off color stuff. Do you want want an Ugin? Where's the Natural Lies like card? Ugin. You can you can grab utility lands. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you can. It's non-creature cards. It's not non-creature non-land. I could definitely see playing a land. Cuz yeah, maybe you just need a land drop. What land are you playing? Is it Blast Zone? Castle Vantress? If you need a land drop, you probably don't need don't need to like spend mana on stuff though. I kind of feel like it's a scry land, honestly. Like, if you need a land drop. But I guess you probably want an un... So that's what I was thinking, maybe temple. But I, I guess you may want five, like a, a an untapped land. Because if, you, if you're spending it on four, maybe you want your untapped land. Because you want to be able to play Cavalier or Nyssa on, on five. So, like, maybe you need an untapped land that way. That's That probably makes sense. We probably want an untapped land. So I guess it's probably Blast Zone... Okay, what three of these cards aren't valuable? Do we need the second manipulation? Like, if we already go grab manipulation and then use it, isn't the game just kind of over? Maybe, maybe not. But we have Tamio that can get back another manipulation. We can grab it back. The trail is probably too cute. A lot of good options here. Yeah, I can definitely agree with the Great Henge. It seems like all these other cards are probably better than the Great Henge. But like the Great Henge, though, like if the thing is, like if you're grabbing it, like maybe you have a Cavalier Thorns. I could definitely see grabbing this because maybe you have a Cavalier Thorns, 
and you grab this because it can just gain two life a turn like against aggro um yeah get the third green i i like that too matthew get the third green i kind of like that too having this be a green source being a third green for cavalier thorns so maybe it's the castle we could just play a forest but we probably already have a, a forest i kind of like that too just playing a forest I'll play a Fabled Passage. I like that, actually. Let's do Fabled Passage. I like that. Because at that point, you already have four mana whenever you go grab this. I like that. And then, like, if, if you, you know, you can kind of choose if you need green or blue at that point. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, hey, Lou. So this is 17, so you'd have to cut two cards. Maybe it's Spyglass. Are we really Spyglassing anything? Maybe. Maybe you Spyglass like Sarkin. Yeah, maybe you actually do Spyglass. Hmm. So I guess if you're if you're watching this video later on YouTube, you can kind of pick out two cards that you don't like. I like all of these. I like all 17 of these. I can see scenarios where I want each card, honestly. This one, I mean, this is probably, like, this is kind of like Ashiok. Like, these two are against, um, against the Esper Do Doom Foretold deck. Um... Yeah, you can just like cast all their artifacts from their graveyard or you just exile their graveyard. I think Ashiok's going to be better there. But hopefully they don't counter your Ashiok. Cuz you'd have to use then you'd have to go grab Tamio to get Ashiok back. If they do that. Um and yeah, Ashiok's easier to cast. And it, and you have one more ego also. So yeah, you have one more ego for that matchup anyway. So yeah, you don't yeah, we don't need that card. All right, so that card's gone. Yeah, maybe playing White Celebration is just better than the Great Henge. All right. That can, that can be our other one. Plus, the Great Henge doesn't have a card style. Because, <clears throat> yeah, the Celebration can just gain you 16 life and everything there. So, actually, I actually like that idea. Like, if I try some more, maybe that's too slow, but that's actually pretty interesting. You know, because this deck can just have, like, a lot of mana. So, like, maybe you just have a lot of mana, you get to cast this Granted. And break open the game here in best of one. Cool, cool. I like that quite a bit. All right. So if you're watching this video later on YouTube, um, please hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. But also, please let me know what you think about this Fae of Wishes sideboard plan and everything. And let me know, um, let me know how it works. Like if you're trying it out, uh, you know, try it out. Let me know how it works. You know, we got about four or five days until i guess four days technically until the fifth until the event um the win every card event again like i said at the beginning of the video um make sure you check out the other videos from yesterday also if you want to check out some other best of one decks for some other suggestions for the um uh play any deck uh challenge this weekend yeah play any deck win every card challenge so there we go. All right, we got three other decks to get to, though. So thank you so much for watching some Simic Ramp here, and I'll see you for the next video.